All right, be prepared for tomorrow. Late in the day, a winter storm watch has been posted. We're not going to get a lot of new additional snow. No, but the wind is going to pick up and blow this fluffy stuff that's around the area. The three to seven inches that we were talking about earlier and could cause some blizzard conditions in places. Here's a live look at the Dakota Magic Casino. A few flakes still drifting through the lower atmosphere as we head into the evening hours, and that's a sign of a few clouds remnant here in the Red River Valley. It's 11 in Fargo at Hector. Wind is only six miles per hour. Not too bad. 14 in the Breckenridge Wapaton area and 12 for Detroit Lakes. Temperatures falling off dramatically, though, in Grand Forks with clearing skies and fresh flakes. It's four below zero in Devil's Lake. Here's a look at those wind speeds and generally five to 15 miles per hour is it as we head into the evening. That'll cause some light blowing of the snow. Now, lingering clouds in the Southern Valley and basically up here where we have clear skies, anybody that has deep fresh snowpack will see temperatures fall fairly quickly as we go into the evening. But good news is we shouldn't get too cold tonight thanks to additional clouds moving our way. Remember those clouds act as blankets. Our snow moving off to the south and to the east, but we're watching this system up here. Here's a warm front causing some clouds. The cold front is behind it. Ahead of the warm front, we'll have south winds throughout the day and not too strong. But as the cold front moves through the area, the winds become northwesterly and they will gust significantly causing blowing and drifting and just a lot of no fun. Oh yes, and along with that, bitter cold temperatures will be coming down with dangerous wind chills. This evening, pretty quiet. If we do have some lingering clouds, it looks like Lakes Country in the Southern Valley, but temperatures could really bottom out in the early overnight hours in the north. I've popped down to minus 11 in Grand Forks as we go through the deep part of the overnight hours. Temperatures will dip briefly below zero in Fargo, I believe as well, since we have significant snow. Now, as we take a look at our start your day temperatures, that warm front will be pushing throughout to the west, bringing clouds and milder air, but it will be cool and below zero in Minnesota. Heading through the midday hours, still not too bad. Cannot rule out a flake or two of snow along the warm front as it works its way through. Temperatures reaching near 20 in the south and teens elsewhere. It's in the afternoon between 4 and 10 o'clock. This cold front blasts through. See the yellow arrows here? Winds from the northwest gusting over 40 miles per hour will cause this snow to get lofted. Also noticing the forecast model not painting too big of a new additional snowfall picture as we go through tomorrow. So in Fargo, we start out with temperatures that will be rising fairly quickly with that warm front pushing through all the way to 21 degrees. Then the wind becomes northwesterly and gusts over 30 miles per hour. So tomorrow night, mainly after 8 o'clock and into your Thursday morning, things get a little bit dicey outdoors. If you have travel plans, you may want to change them. Temperatures have the best shot at 20s in southeast North Dakota, teens elsewhere. And, you know, we get some snow. People still have to eat. So do the rabbits. Here's a gang of them out there in Fargo. Thanks so much to Della Johnson for uploading your photo. Here's your planning forecast. Now, after the wind event, it gets brutally cold out there and windy. 12 below Thursday morning with wind chills in the 30s below zero. Look at this, Mike. 22 below air temperature. We may be colder than that with all this fresh flaky snow around in places. A little bit of a warm up. Another storm looks to be on the horizon Sunday into Monday. That's ahead of another Arctic blast. So the winter fun continues in earnest. January in the upper Midwest. That's what it is. All right. Thanks, Hutch.